percent. Darcy, the, the, the crossfall here is over 4%, isn't it? 4.6, I think. There you go. 4.6% crossfall. Now today, we are on the Yellowhead Trail here in Edmonton, Alberta. Vern Kyle here. Today, we are grading for a straight face curb that's going to be poured here later on today by the Gamaco. The string line is set and we are measuring grade off the string line. The paint marks that you see on the ground are cuts in centimeters. And one thing that we need to know before we start this procedure is uh, whether the Gamaco is going to use the trimming head or not. Because that's a difference of two centimeters. If they use the trimming head, we normally leave it two centimeters high to give them a little bit of gravel to trim. But it turns out today they are not going to use the trimming head. So basically we are trimming this right to grade. The straight face curb will literally sit right on the material that we trim. What I really wanted to talk about is getting level first. The first step, when you go to trim off the string, and you go to trim this, the first step is to get level or more or less level with your grader. And I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to probably run the camera on board the grader and just show you how I do that. But see where... Uh, where Darcy's taking some shots with the GPS up here, uh, this crossfall is over 4%. Now, I don't want to be cutting, I don't want to be cutting grade along the string here at 4%. So uh, my first step is to, is to get level here. You know, so uh, don't take your numbers out right away. Just disregard your numbers for the first little while here and and get level with the grader and then once you're once you got a level area outside these numbers then you can take the numbers so i just wanted to talk about that and uh i'm going to show you how i do that first step so you wouldn't want to be cutting this hi darcy so you wouldn't want to be cutting this at uh at over 4%. Darcy, the, the, the crossfall here is over 4%, isn't it? 4.6%. There you go. 4.6% crossfall. And you see, you wouldn't want to be cutting this, uh, you wouldn't want to be cutting this uh, grade at, at a 4.6 crossfall. You want it level. Because when the Gamaco goes to pour this curb, it's going to pour the, the, the bottom of the curb is going to be completely level. It isn't going to be at 4.6%. So, anyway. I'm going to show you the first step of getting level. It's, it actually looks a little strange once you do it because it, you actually put a bit of a bench into it. And so it looks a little odd when you cut it level, but it needs to be done. And so uh, I'll probably set the camera up in the grader while I'm doing it and, and, uh, and show you what I'm doing. That's Trevor out in front of me, measuring off the string. I've got the camera mounted to my hard hat. There's a grade mark. By the way, this is uh, 20 mil gravel. Now you see, I'm gonna make sure I leave these numbers. Don't, don't take the numbers out. Just leave them until you get level here. That way you can utilize those numbers in the next step. So oh, basically I'm uh, carving it down on one side here and uh, I'll end up making probably two or three passes along here 
and uh, try to get down to in, in and around 0% on my slope meter. And then when that procedure is done, then I'll come back and utilize these numbers on the ground.
you, I'm going to show you what it looks like when we're complete. And it's kind of now, Trevor has put some new numbers on the ground and I have to confess something. I've caught a little bit too deep in some spots. That must make it a million and five mistakes now. But I want to show you how I correct that. We need this to be, we need this to be right on grade. Now here, here is a, uh, a fill of two, and here's a fill of three, and there's a fill of one centimeters. And I'll show you how to correct that. I'll show you how to put those fills in. A good way to put them in. This is how I do it, and it seems to work pretty good. I'll take a, I'll just make a little windrow like this, and show you exactly how I do it. Take a little windrow, like this, place it on the fill. Just a small windrow like that. And don't forget we're filling a three here. And we're filling one here. So we'll take a small windrow like that. Now, uh, you can see in my mirror, the windrow. Okay, now. Now I'm about to do some backblading and I need to make sure that it's all clear behind me. I will uh, get my wheel beside it and I'll run it over with, I'll run over it with my back blade. I'm going over the gray. Now this here is a fill of three. So I'm just using my back blade to place it. I'm placing it with the back blade. Filling on twos and threes here right now. And uh, then just, just uh, there, now that should be good enough. Now I'll blade across that one more time. And now that those fills should be in. Okay, again, I'm, uh, I have a spot here where I've, uh, I have some little fills and I just want to show you how to correct that. This is how I correct it. And uh, here is a fill of three. And here's a fill of one. And a fill of two. There's a fill of two. There's a fill of one. Here's another fill of one. And so I might as well, you might as well correct, uh, correct them all at the same time. There's a fill of one. Now what I'm gonna do here, there's a, there's a cut of one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, back blade heavy on the cut of one. And I am going to take this back. Here's a, here's a real heavy back blade on this cut of one. And then I'm going to take this material and I'm going to put these fills in. And uh, at, at close to the end back here, I am actually uh, trying to accomplish a fill of three. There, we're back plating it in, back plating it in. I'm, uh, there I think is a fill of two right there. And I'm coming up on a fill of three actually. There's a fill of one. And now this is a fill of three. that'll be in there now what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll wheel pack that and uh, and then we can measure it again I'll just run my wheel over it once and they can measure it again you know, when you're uh, 
when you're wheel packing along a string, you gotta just make sure you don't you don't touch the string. Well, that seems to work pretty good. You put the you put these little fills in, and we wheel uh, wheel packed it just once, and uh, it seems to work pretty good. We got a cut of one here. We got grades. We got grades. We got a cut of one. Take that one out of there, and uh, there's a two up there. I'll just adjust these one more time. point that I wanted to get across here is uh, you know the area where the curb is gonna go you want it to be more or less level and so sometimes it actually uh, sometimes it actually looks a little crazy in the end because you, you kind of have a bench you know you kind of have a bench and if you do it on the top side if there's if there's curb on the top side and you're doing the same thing on a cross fall it looks it looks a little wonky again maybe someday I'll do a video on that but uh, then then of course your bench would would uh, be in the other direction you know a thanks to Trevor and Adam for doing grades for me and thank you for watching I hope you found that interesting we'll see you next time